Hi, I'm Dawn Brady Wimmer. This is two days after May the 4th be with you and one day after Cinco de Mayo. So it is May 6, 2020. This is Devotions with Dawn. Welcome. Um, we have a lot of views on this pandemic. I've heard a lot of them. Is it real? Is it a hoax? Is it being taken seriously enough? Is it being taken too seriously? At South Meridian, we have chosen to follow the guidelines of our governor and the best medical voices that we hear and trust from Dr. Scott Green to Dr. Anthony Fauci. We've taken our services online and we've encouraged our congregation to shelter in place at home as directed. This is all as an act of love to our community. By being careful, we not only are um, working toward being healthy ourselves, but we are also trying to avoid becoming a source of infection to those who are less vulnerable around us. Again, this is all because of love. This has not been a stripping away of our rights or a training for sinister plots. We have not been persecuted. And to claim that we are diminishes the realities of those who are actually abused and voiceless and persecuted, oppressed and wounded. Our small experience should promote prayerful awareness of those who are in dire need. We are to be wise and alert, yes, and we are to be about the kingdom of God work that is around us always, and especially in this time. We are to be about the proclamation and of the redeeming and overwhelming love of God that we see through the life and life again of Jesus. So when I see conspiracy theories spouted from pulpits tied to self-serving scriptures, I cringe. I think that we've lost the center of our hope and our message. And the antidote for me partly of this is found in this wonderful, wonderful book called The Jesus Storybook Bible by Sally Lloyd-Jones. Just the introduction to this book is uh, caught me off guard and I love it. So I'd like to just share that with you, read it to you now because I thought it was so good. I think it is so good. The Introduction to the Jesus Storybook Bible. Now some people think that the Bible is a book of rules telling you what you should and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does have some rules in it. They show you how life works best, but the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what He has done. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes, showing you the people you should copy. And the Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you soon find out when you read it, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They make some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid, they run away, and at times they're just downright mean. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is most of all a story. It's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who leaves his palace, his throne, everything to rescue the ones he loves. It's like the most wonderful of fairy tales that has come true in real life. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story, and at the center of the story, there's a baby. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He's like the missing piece in the puzzle, the piece that makes all the other pieces fit together. And suddenly, you can see a beautiful picture. This is the center. This baby that we know as Jesus, this man that we know as Jesus, is at the center of our story. He's our hope. He's our purpose. We are to be about the work of love and not the anxiety of conspiracies and hatefulness. Let's be people of joy and love. Let's reach out and tell that great story.